This is a full-size plan for the mechanical counter that Matthias designed and built. I wanted to build his counter half-size, and that's a gear for my counter. The advanced gear is, this is made from 1 8 inch tempered hardboard. The carry notch pieces were made out of that and glued together with uh, carpenter's glue. And to make the carry gear, I had individual pieces. I had two pieces of the eight tooth gears and then one four tooth gear. I put these together, glued them, and then added the four tooth gear to get the complete carry gear. And these all turn on a 1 8 inch piano wire. The ratchet, yoke, and advanced lever are all made from 1 8 inch 6 ply plywood. This is actually two 3 ply pieces of plywood and it's joined together and they orientate the center ply in the same direction so even though it's 6 ply it's effectively acts as 5 ply. I wanted this lever to return to center on increment. I added a piano wire down here. Works against this eighth inch dowel that I added to the advance lever here and that returns that to center after each increment. I did not add a spring for decrement because I didn't need one. I built Matthias's mechanical counter using his plans and his big print program to reduce the original templates to 50%. I also wanted to make the counter four digits instead of three digits so it would count to 10,000. I took the original template for the top, made a second one, cut off part of it, overlaid that very accurately and taped it, and then used that to make the top for my counter, and it fits perfect. The only thing I had to measure for this project was the back support and the bottom because of the additional digit that I was using. When I assembled the first three digit wheels, the carry notch on all three is aligned with the center of the number seven. And the advanced wheel, the notch has to be in perfect alignment with that notch. The wheels were painted with a flat white paint. I used Matthias's templates to make an impression of the numbers around the wheel. And then I got my wife to paint these in with an ultra fine Sharpie magic marker. These are all the parts that are required to assemble the counter. I have one additional digit wheel and one additional carry gear. When you reduce one of these mechanisms to half size, sometimes the details become quite small, like this detent for the yoke. As it is, this works perfectly. If someone was going to try and make this smaller than half size, some sort of a correction would have to be made here because this probably wouldn't work if it was any smaller. That spring wire returns the lever to center position after increment. It does not return it on decrement. It brings it back to center where that detent engages with the yoke. That piece of music wire passes through a wood doll. There's a little indentation on this frame. When the bottom is placed on the counter, it holds that piece of wire in place. This is a fun project, excellent practice for someone who's considering making a wood gear clock or any wood gear mechanism. It's relatively easy to build whether you build the full size version as designed by Matthias or use a big print program to reduce it to half size. The gears are relatively easy to make. I had zero fine tuning on the gears on this. Just sand away the template lines and put it together. You'd be surprised at how much fun it is and the sense of accomplishment in building one of these. So give it a go. Prove to yourself that you can do it.